Yo, yo, yo. Thanks for tuning in to the 47th episode of J Talks Crypto. And in this episode, I'm going to be doing um, a couple of tips and tricks for the uh, Gecko Science Compact F, or just in general, how do you, how do you control a miner remotely um, with like a different device or something like that. Um, so if you're using Windows and you want to control your Raspberry, your Raspberry Pi, um, I'll put this uh, in the description, but essentially you need to install the uh, SSH thing. Um, so this just kind of goes over how to install it on Windows 10. If you are controlling it through like a different Raspberry Pi or something like that, or a Linux device, it should already have a terminal app installed. So, <clears throat> so yeah, you pretty much just follow this. You go to apps and features. Uh, in the search, you type in um, open SSH or click on add a feature. Um, go to open SSH, install it, and then that's pretty much what you need to do on the Windows side. Uh, in order to actually run the program, you open the command prompt and then just type in SSH and then whatever the details for the device are. Uh, the next thing you need to do is make sure that you your um, Raspberry Pi is prepped correctly. Um, so the first thing that I would do personally is go to your preferences, go to Raspberry Pi configuration. So um, I would just change the host name to something. So I'm going to just name this Satoshi. And the reason why you do that is so you can just put SSH at uh, pi at Satoshi and then it should find it automatically. Uh, the next thing you want to do is you also want to change the password. Click on OK. Click on OK. Um, you need to check your interface settings. Make sure that this is enabled. You click on OK. Let's click on Yes. All right. So after the reboot, you can uh, verify your settings. So, you know, my password was changed. And the interface is SSH is enabled. And uh, we have to continue to prep the uh, Raspberry Pi. Uh, the next thing that we need to do is install this program called uh, Tmux. Tmux is a program that lets you boot apps and that run in the background without affecting other apps. So how do you install it? Pretty simple. sudo apt update, <laughs> sudo apt install Tmux. Click on copy. Open up the terminal. It's going to say, do you want to continue? Press Y. All right, cool. So over here, we can also see the change in the, the name of the host. Um, so in order to run Tmux, what you would do is you just enter Tmux. Press Enter. And once you see this green bar on the bottom, that's kind of that lets you know that you are in Tmux. All right. So 
I'm gonna go over on how to connect to uh, a different um, a different Raspberry Pi that you set up. So you can either you can either do this on Windows, or you can do this through um, another command line that can access uh, SSH. So you just type in SSH Pi at uh, So the moonshot is what I named, renamed the other um, host name uh, instead. Like so, this one I named Satoshi. The other one I named uh, Moonshot. Type in yes. Press enter. Type in the password. When you type in the password, nothing is gonna happen, but letters are being typed. It's like a security feature. So then you press enter, and it should connect. So I already have this thing uh, running right now. So all I need to do is type in tmux uh, attach, tmux attach, and then it attaches to my existing session. Now um, to go over a couple of uh, cheat attack, uh, a couple of like cheat. Um, how do you say this? A couple of quick commands that you're probably gonna need uh, when messing around with Tmux is all right. So you're in here. Normally, if you were to just, if I were to close this right now, um, what would happen is that the miner would stop mining, and that's because um, essentially what you need to do is you need to tell Tmux to uh, close this, but keep it running in the background, and. Um, in order to like communicate with the Tmux app, I guess what you have to do is like you have to press this uh, shortcut. It's called a Control and B at the same time, um, and that lets you uh, make modifications to the session. Um, so right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Control B. I'm going to press the letter D for detach, and you see how it says detach from session zero. Next thing is uh, I'm going to. Do this again, type in tmux attach, press enter, uh, and I'm going to press control B again, I'm going to press colon, and uh, let's say you wanted to kill the session without um, rebooting the uh, Raspberry Pi, what you would just do is type in kill dash session. And then when you would press enter, it would uh, essentially close the session. Control B and then D to detach again. Uh, and, then there, and then there are a couple of other commands uh, that you might find helpful. So for example, sometimes you might have a miner that runs better at a 300 frequency and another miner that runs better at like 400. So you might wanna have multiple sessions going uh, at the same time um, and what you can do is you can just click on a tmux list dash sessions and that will tell you all of the sessions that are currently going on um, and then there are different ways to, so you see how that one says session is like the the session number is the zero um, you would just do tmux attach dash t space zero and if you have more than one it would be one two three four five and whatever um number it is um is there anything else that but yeah oh uh, that's just a quick thing that i wanted to go over then to uh, show you guys how to uh, pretty much control your miner remotely uh, it's something that I found very helpful um, because then you can just check on your miners without having to connect it to an HDMI port or having to um, you know like you know pull out a mouse and specifically for it because then you could just like log on to Windows open up the command prompt and then um, view you know view it that way anyway uh, this video is pretty short but it was something that I wanted to get out for you guys. Uh, 
If you like the comment, like the content, please like, comment, subscribe. Like, comment, and subscribe. You guys know I hate fucking asking. Pero, this is J Talks Crypto, and I'm signing off.